morning. Let me thank uh, Peggy and to Matt and all of the dignitaries who are here, Congressman Green, Congress, uh, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, and certainly to the Gold Star Mothers this morning and then to all of you. We are happy to be celebrating Memorial Day with all of you here at Houston VA National Cemetery. Uh, this cemetery has been uh, with an, um, an important fixture in Houston for many, many years. It was dedicated in 1965 and was the only government cemetery constructed in the 1960s. This cemetery covers over 400 acres. Many heroes are interned here and almost 90,000 are buried here. Several are Medal of Honor winners and all did their part to defend our nation during times of war and preserved our freedom during times of peace. Originally, Memorial Day was known as Decoration Day, meant to honor those who served during the Civil War. By the 1900s, it had become a day to celebrate all American soldiers who died while serving in the military. In 1967, the holiday name was changed to Memorial Day. The city of Houston is committed to continue to serve veterans and their families and proud to partner with the VA in so many, many ways. Together, we worked to house hundreds of veterans over the years. Together, we connected many thousands of veterans to the benefits they've earned. Together, we have worked to create meaningful events like Homeless Veterans Stand Down and Welcome Home celebrations. And together, we uh, gather here today to remember the service and sacrifice of all those veterans who gave so much to defend our way of life. We honor and grieve with these courageous men and women, and we shall never forget. This is a grateful country. We are a grateful state. This is a grateful city because we recognize that there are many who have served and died in order for us to be where we are today. Liberty and freedom are not free. Many people have paid the ultimate sacrifice. And so told today in this city, we pause to say thank you to them. We remember them. We pause to say thank you to the many families who now carry on in their loved one's memory. Thank you all for being here. And thanks to all of our veterans for their sacrifices and service to our great country. And thank you to the families that support those who serve. And now, Matt, if you'll come forth, certainly want to acknowledge Councilmember Jack Christie for being here this morning. And Matt, uh, coming from City Council itself, America is a land of freedom, preserved and protected willingly and freely by citizen soldiers, sailors, airmen, Coast Guardsmen, and Marines, millions who have <clears throat> answered to the call to arms and made the ultimate sacrifice and died on the field of battle. As the men and women of our country put themselves in arms way every day, at home and in distant lands. We are reminded of the debt owed to, to those who sacrificed so much for our way of life and freedoms. On May 29, 2017, we gather for this Memorial Day observance to honor and memorialize our nation's valiant service men and women and pay tribute to those who serve our country with honor and valor. Houstonians deeply appreciate the courage and dedication of our armed forces and veterans and recognize the crucial role that they have played in the protection of generations of America since, 17, since 1775. Their service and sacrifices have helped to preserve the freedom and values that Americans now cherish. The city of Houston recognizes and appreciates the fallen for their significant and lasting contributions and stand best wishes to all for a meaningful Memorial Day observance. And therefore I, Sylvester Turner, Mayor of the City of Houston, hereby proudly proclaim May 29, 2017, Memorial Day, National Cemetery Council of Greater Houston, Inc. in Houston, Texas. Thank you, God, for allowing these men and women to have served our country, and may we ever be grateful and remind, reminded of their sacrifices. Thank you, Mayor.